I feel like this episode has made me feel more fossily than I ever have in my entire life. I never life. felt younger. Let's go home. Hey guys, welcome back to Well Till Nine, uh, hosted by myself, Laura. And him. Wow, great What's up, start. guys? It's boyfriend, how are you? <laughs> Good um, morning, Latvia. And? Brazil, Tasmania, Tasmania. a little bit of India. Uh-huh. Um, Canada. And Canada. <gasps> we didn't was, even, we didn't did even we have a, that. Yeah, I was gonna say, did we just have a, a, a little telepathy? Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to the pod. Um, so we are recording this, probably, this is probably the earliest podcast we've ever recorded in the history of Wild Till Nine. Um, before noon. Before noon, we never record before noon because what's happening tonight? We're getting drugs. What kind of drugs? Legal ones. What kind of legal drugs? Uh, probably Pfizer. Probably Pfizer. Yeah, no, definitely Pfizer. Pfizer. Definitely Pfizer. Um, well, you said legal drugs and like that includes like marijuana and- In like six states. Well, our state. That's not the legal drug in this state. That, you know, that's a very American way to look at things. Well, it's legal here. So that's the way we're gonna look at it. Well, legal drugs in California. Anyways, we are getting vaccinated today and I could fucking cry. Oh my God. We are so excited. But please don't. Well. Okay, or cry. Well, oh, we can wait. It's well, fine. well. Thanks for a good thumbnail. Uh, um, no, oh my God, we are so excited. We had the opportunity to get vaccinated and uh, we encourage you to get vaccinated. And uh, it is the light at the end of the tunnel. And oh, I, 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 I'm gonna look so good in my bikini pic soon. I'm gonna look so good with a fucking, I got vaccinated sticker on my I really sweater. feel like you're setting yourself up for failure here. Why? Cause they're gonna be out and you're gonna go, but I didn't get a sticker. I know, I'm really nervous that we're not gonna get a sticker. Our friend uh, got theirs this morning and got a sticker, but she went early. And so I'm nervous that the stickers are gonna be gone by the time we get there. But as long as I get a shot in my arm, I will be happy, but not as happy if I did get a sticker. So I, I see what you're saying. I you know, I assure you if for whatever reason, the shot or the, the sticker don't happen where yeah. we're headed, since yeah. we're going downtown, yeah. we could go around the corner and get a shot of anything else Well, with a few bucks. Do you know that when I, so when I lived in downtown LA. Where, I'm, I'm excited to hear where the segue from my like street corner heroin joke yeah, it's leads going. you. Yeah, so like what, also, what are we setting up here? I just wanna I just wanna quickly circle back and we don't segue around here, we sagu around here. And no, so it, I, I just don't know where, sagu, why. Why don't you sagu into it then? So I would like to sagu into this. Mm -hmm. So I lived downtown LA for about a year and a half right. and it was, it was honestly so much fun. I was in a three- Downtown sucks. Downtown, no, but downtown sucks, sucks ass. So sketchy. When I would walk moose around the block, I'd be sucks like- Sucks ass. Just, I just scary, 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 scary. Um, I did live in a good area though. I lived near, um, what's the uh, what's the new sports situation? Um, the, the, you know what I'm trying to say? What What's that called again? No, it's the, it's the LA sports situation. Yeah, what is that? What no, is it's it called? They call it. What, what's it called, Smooth? LA sports situation. No, it's not the LA sports situation. Sports situation. What's it called? LA Live. LA Live, LA Live, LA Live. So it's it's a good area. Like I lived in the most ideal area in downtown LA to like not be super sketchy, but that doesn't mean that the sketchy just does, it's, it, 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 uh, it's, it's downtown LA. But it was great because I lived in a three block radius of my three best friends and it was amazing. So two of them were in the same building. One of them was like two and a half blocks away. And then I was right across the street from the two in the one building. And it was so much fun. Downtown LA, not fun, but being within a three block radius of your best friends, super fun. Anyways, where this was going, what I was gonna sagu into was that um, when I decided to buy a house, I was like super excited. And I, I was just like so sick of living in downtown at that point. Cause um, I mean, I'd had moose for, maybe just like under a year, I think, just under a year. And so like, I was sick of walking moose outside and it was just like sketchy. And the, a, a few days before I moved out, um, in the alley behind my apartment building, simultaneously, there was someone taking a shit and then a person halfway down the block down, putting a needle into their leg with their dick out. And that was the moment that I knew that I made the right decision to move elsewhere. Dare not to do drugs, not dare. sponsored. What does dare stand for? Dare? I don't know, it didn't dare. work for me. Oh, well, okay, well, yeah. Uh, CC, the horse tranquilizer <laughs> you know, podcast. <laughs> I was actually chatting with a buddy the other day about the time that I lost a tooth after getting, um, 
well, fucked up on all sorts of things. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, but we'll save that for my episode. We're not just gonna share those stories for the. For Which yours. tooth was it? You can't see it in the back. Oh, oh, oh. Was it a part, part of a tooth? No, it was the whole thing. It was the whole thing? Well, I, it technically it was a crown. I had a root oh, canal on that tooth and then it fell I off. I see, I see, I see, yeah. I see. Okay, well, I feel like you've halfway told the story. Just finish the story now. No, 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 no. Mm. Okay. Well, anyways, today on our agenda is record the pod and then go get vaccinated and then- um, and Lay then, around and, and yeah. Lauren will be anxious about the side effects that aren't even here yet. And right. I will order Kentucky Fried Chicken or- Do we Chick-fil-A have a KFC near us? Or Wendy's. I don't know. But there's something about the idea of the fact that like the better your immune system for what I understand is, yeah. the more it kind of attacks the virus and gives you a hard time. So, so I like, think that means that you're going down more than I will. Right, so, but that's why I'm gonna, like, at the same time I get the vaccine, I'm gonna go grab like a, a, a 12 rack of chicken from KFC. Uh-huh. And that way my immune system's like, I don't even know what to fucking start with. Oh, I see, I see. I, I want to hit it yeah. with the good yeah. stuff yeah. and the bad stuff yep. all at the same time. So I it's see. just like, ah! That's a good strategy. The only thing is, is that Have like- Have you ever had a KFC bowl? What the fuck's a KFC bowl? I'm glad you asked. It's a bowl where they, they put like mashed potatoes and corn and like chicken, um, uh, 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 a popcorn chicken all in one, and they throw some gravy on it and some cheddar, and you eat it with a spoon. No, 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 no. I want one of those today. No, 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 because then you're gonna feel sick from that, and you might feel sick from. Ugh. I assure you that I will have the vaccine and the KFC bowl, and yeah. I could wash it down with a six pack of Natty Light. I will still feel better than you. That's true. That is true. I'm a sensitive. I'm a sensi. You're a sensi girl. I get it. Look it. I'm emotional. I can't believe you didn't get me one to match. We could have walked around. We could have literally because gone Because you're public. not emotional. What do you mean I'm not emotional? You're not emotional. I am emotional. I'm, I'm, I'm an emotional adjacent. Sure. Like I'm someone who wakes up the same way, more or less, and goes to sleep the same way, more or less, like every day of my life. Right. And you, just by being a little, um, <laughs> uh, uh, your, your emotions just permeate through the room. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I feel like I get emotional hangover from you. Yeah, 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 I have enough emotion for the both of us. You do. Yeah, for sure, you for do. sure, for sure. Are you carrying a credit card balance month over month? You are not the only one. High interest rates make it hard to pay off your debt, but Upstart can help. Join the thousands of happy borrowers who make- Whoa, <laughs> it's gonna be borrow in America. Borrow? Yeah, it's not burrowers. You're not burrowing into the ground. Borrow? Borrow. 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 Who made the final payment. What, say, say it your way. Borrow. It's B-O-R-R-O-W. Whoa. <laughs> Join the thousands of happy borrowers who made the final payment. You made that so uncomfortably I, not I don't natural. know what you want from me. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Trying to pay off debt with high interest rates can be really stressful. It is a never ending cycle and it just keeps adding up. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. Plus Upstart looks at more than just your credit score. It looks at your income and employment history, which helps offer smarter rates with trusted partners. I find the whole process so intimidating, overwhelming, and I have constant stress that I'm probably not getting the best rate, but Upstart makes it easy and stress-free. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash wild. That's upstart.com slash wild. And don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash wild. As the world becomes increasingly uncomfortable, we're all looking for as much comfort as we can get. Traffic in LA is back, and I can tell you that there is nothing more uncomfortable than being stuck in your car for an hour just to go three miles. But the only thing I can always count on is how comfortable my purple mattress is. Purple is comfort reinvented. You know how much of a hot sleeper I am. Well, Purple has a design called the grid that doesn't trap air and instead allows the air to flow and circulate through it. So uh, goodbye, sweaty sleeps. The grid has definitely saved our sleeping experience. Long gone are the days of feeling Lauren's sweaty limbs (laughs) touching me while I sleep. So rude. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the grid is amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck, and hips. It also bounces back as you move and shift. And by you, I mean Lauren. <laughs> Unlike memory foam, which remembers everything. Purple Mattress has changed the game for those eight hours of sleep. Sweaty limbs. <laughs> Leave my sweaty <laughs> limbs out of it. <laughs> 
purple really is comfort for an uncomfortable world. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash wild10 and use promo code wild10. That's purple.com slash wild10, promo code wild10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash wild10, promo code wild10. Terms apply. Um, Where did this start? Probably not anywhere productive. Yeah, anyways. Also, my mom is coming. My mom is coming, I'm so excited. I know. I know, I'm so excited. It's been, I'm going to ball like a baby. I could cry at any moment, just think, oh my God, my tears. <sighs> I'm gonna suck them back into my face. <laughs> I could cry at literally any moment thinking about them coming. Well, I'm just my mom. My mom's only able to come. You should cry about that. What? You should cry about that. <sighs> Oh God, uh, I think that she is worried about me because my mental health has been absolute garbage. And so for her mental health too, I think that she needs to come here. Um, As I was telling you the other day, every time Lauren has a bad day, I, I do this thing where, and I, 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 I should know better at this point, yeah. but I text Lauren's mom and I just say, have you talked to Lauren? Yet? <laughs> I don't know why you approach it like that. No, I just, but because if she has, then I don't, I wanna say, hey, Lauren's having a bad day. Yeah. And if she's already talked to you, then like, okay, I'm just right. assuming that she has But then it. you're gonna break the news most of the time. Right, but what I'm doing, I'm trying to lay the ground of like, have you talked to Lauren today? No, what's up? And then we can like, we can game plan on it. Yeah, but and if you've preconditioned her to know that that text- I didn't precondition her. <laughs> she just, every time I say that, I, I literally hear the FaceTime go off in the other room. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I thought we were gonna game plan first. I thought we were gonna walk through <laughs> what I knew combined with what you know, and that way the plan of attack is like, right. she could FaceTime and be like, oh, hey, was just calling because I got some updates. How are you? You know, right. and not just like, what's wrong? Right, 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 right. Yeah, well, you know, you guys could work through that. I'll work, work through work through my, um, my situation. You guys can work through your plan of attack. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a marathon. Yeah, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But other than that, Weather's warming up. And also she'll be here for her birthday and Moose's birthday. Their birthdays are one day apart. And so between the four of us, it's gonna be a fucking party. I, turn up. Turn up, turn up. Moose is turning four, it's very exciting. Did and you wanna tell uh, how old your mom's turning? Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe not. <laughs> Good answer. I, I, I don't know. I. Uh, I, my mom's not someone that likes birthdays. She hates when the attention is on her. My mom hates birthdays as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, it's more just like, so I remember last year, um, her birthday was obviously in uh, quarantine. And I was thinking about how- having- Everyone's birthday last year was in yeah, quarantine. Yeah, fuck, you're right. Um, no, if you're January, baby, you would- there, mine Oh wait, no, your birthday wasn't in quarantine last year. Yeah, right. literally. Mine wasn't. Um, but uh, so I was thinking about last year, planning one of those like drive-by car birthday parades. Yeah. yeah, remember when that was like a big thing? Like oh, that yeah. was like the super popular thing to do for birthdays. And so I was running the idea by like some of my mom's friends and my dad and everyone uh -huh. was like, you need to abort that situation absolutely immediately. She will hate that and she'll want to crawl into a ball and die. You did it anyway, didn't you? What? You did it anyway, No, didn't you? no, no, no. I, I ended up going the route of like having all of her friends make like a cute little video and I stitch it together and made it. Oh, a I remember yeah, that week. Like a little video montage of everyone that saying happy birthday. That was your job that birthday. week. Oh my God, yeah, well, yeah, it was, Um, you know what? For everyone being between the ages for the most part, between like 50 and 70, mm -hmm. they did a great job. Everyone sent like amazing videos and it ended up being super cute. I will say at any point in time, we're trying to like wrangle anything that requires technology from someone over the age of like 45. Uh, you, you know what? No, even, even like our generation, because it's more of a time thing within our friends, people just forget and they just don't do it. But it was, it was a technology thing. Someone sent me a, a video through WhatsApp and it was about two pixels big. And so they, they didn't get to be included because it just didn't make the cut. Oh, so you do have a quality filter. Well, you know, it needed to be bigger than two two megapixels. Got so it. Yeah. it was shot on a French fry. Yeah, it was, it was literally shot on a French fry. Like not even a full French fry, a half French fry. I feel like we had to give a little bit of context to that, but every, you know how like sometimes like just like the internet will go out or you'll just like upload something. And or or just like when a video hasn't fully processed and you you have to watch it at like 240p right. or whatever, or you watch an old movie that hasn't been, um, what's it called when they restore it basically and make it better. Anyways, when it looks like it's garbage quality because of whatever the reason is. We, we just always say, Oh, good. This is a shout out to French fry. <laughs> shout out to French fry. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> it's funny but every it time. It is. It's funny every time. But you know what's not shot on a French fry? What's not shot on well, a French fry? till nine. Yeah, it's really not. Very expensive. Very expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> so expensive. Uh, so that's our update is that my mom is coming. I could cry at any moment just thinking about how excited I am. Uh, it's been since, it would have been since Christmas. No, no, no. Wait, did she come in February? 
shoot, I think maybe, anyway, it's been it's been over a year and I'm someone who sees my family like- No, it wouldn't have been February because I stopped flying in February I, of last year. Yeah, but did, if she came at the beginning, because we didn't go into official lockdown until March. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, it's been it's been forever and I'm someone who sees my family like every couple months. And so this year has been super hard. So me, anyways, me and Donna do high fives once a year. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I feel like that's like, for the most part, like a mother son situation. Yeah, sons leave. So, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I feel like your mom and I talk more than your, you and Donna talk. Yeah, I, every group chat just gets the mute the moment I see it. Yeah, I see more than one yeah, name. Literally. Ah, mute. It's uh, me and mute. your mom talking about mute. her dog. I just, if you want to talk to me, talk to me. I guess, yeah, yeah. You know, I just don't want to share the attention. Either you're going to talk to me or not. Is that what it is? No, I just like, to me, it's like, if it, it could, if it can be in a group chat, yeah. like, then I don't need to be the one that's driving the conversation. Okay, that's I, fair. But I feel that way always. I'm like, if I'm gonna be in the conversation, I'm like, great, I'm in. I'm gonna listen actively or, or pat, like I, I'm here. Uh -huh. I just, the whole group thing, I'm just like, eh. I, I kick Jeremy out of every group chat and just relay the information. Yeah. Yeah. Way more, way more efficient. Yeah. Cause I also, I don't go through like the, throw, oh, I have 96 unread messages. Great, let me go back to the top and read all these things. No. Yeah. Anyways, how was your week? <laughs> good. Yeah. Still can't talk about shit, but Still good. can't talk about shit, but oh God. Yeah. So uh, last week we, I delivered. Uh, Actually, let me try. Hey guys, I'm like really excited about this thing. It's like coming up I've been working a really long time. I put my whole heart and soul into it. And it's like one of those things where it's like, I'm really excited to tell you. And like, if you're not only following, you have to follow. Cause I'm gonna talk about it here first. And like, okay. It's like one of those things where like, it's, it's like my journey, but it also meets like what I've been preparing for and my experience. And it's like this like perfect thing that like, I truly don't deserve, but it's about to happen to me. And like, I can't wait to share it with you. I'm just really excited. And like, so make sure you're following and be the first to know. Uh -huh. Like and subscribe. That was pretty good. Thank you. You you uh you learned well from last week. It was not rocket science. Yeah. Well, you know, there's an art to the delivery. There really is. You know, yeah. There's an art. Yeah. There's an art form to it. I get it. Yeah. Not I've, any. Not everyone can just be an influencer. No. Yeah. No. There's this uh, filter right now on uh, Instagram where it just makes your face just like so plastic. You can, I, yeah. Yeah. You've seen it. It makes the lips giant and the cheeks frozen. Yeah. And people are doing um, these. Uh, Fuck, I need to get my cheeks frozen. My shit is just wrinkled. I can like see it from not here. wrinkled. Look at these crow's feet. You're look at them. fine. Look at, them. look at them. You're fine. I'm going to be frozen soon. Okay, well that's that's very nice. Anyway, so this filter, uh, people are using it and they're doing parodies of like when influencers go live yeah. and uh, they'll be reading the comments and they'll be like, you look so pretty. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it's the funniest shit ever because like it is so, it, I, I've just seen, I've just seen a version of that in real life a thousand times. Yeah, I see it all the time. Yeah. At home. Would you like to? Would you like to? On opposite day. <laughs> very good, very good. Um, okay, so <laughs> I have a little game to play today and uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how you do with this. So I- The old I, game of who's in my mouth. I'm sorry, what? What? The old, what game are you gonna play? Sorry, I'm sorry. C can you actually elaborate on what the rules are to that game? Let's move forward. Huh, okay. So anyways, uh, that's actually an old YouTube trend of what's in my mouth challenge. And it always got demonetized, even if you're just like putting candy in your mouth or like a Kleenex in your mouth because the title just like gives you the ick a little bit. Well, we can't use the word fuck anymore because we can't use it for ads. So you no just, more fucks. Okay, well. So no we more fucks. Demonetized. If the word fuck is there, it is, it is, it, it can't be there. So if we say fuck, we can't use it for the We ads. have to self edit the, uh, you just made so much work for- so just stop saying fuck. You just made so much work for us, for us. Okay, so I- I'm Who's gonna edit the ad file? Who's gonna hop into the SRT file and edit it? It's you. Okay. It's you. Us. Okay. Um. Well, it's, it's even worse making more work for just you. Yeah, it sucks for me. So I I live on TikTok and I send Jeremy TikToks constantly throughout the day. He does not watch them. And it's a fun little game that we play uh, that makes me really sad, honestly. The best content. And then he'll send me something on Instagram. And I'm like, bitch, this has been on TikTok for two weeks now. Because like the good stuff from TikTok always makes it over to Instagram, but it's it's old, it's recycled. We, we've been seeing it. And so anyways. Uh, been seen? We've been seeing it. Mm. We've been seeing it. Mm. Anyway, so everyone on Instagram is always just playing catch up on the things that like we've already seen over on the TikTok side. Okay. And uh, you why, know what? Why is information no longer as valuable 
if it, the first time that I see it yeah. on the platform of my choice uh -huh. is after you saw it on TikTok. Why is it less valuable? Uh, because I've already had a reaction to it. I haven't. Right, and that's great for you. That's valuable for you. I'm just saying for me, it's not as exciting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, where was I going with this? Now I forget. You threw me off. You threw me off my uh my my. The, your trains. My of trains. Thought? My trains of thought. Both trains have left the station. All of the trains have left the station. Oh no! And now the station is well, empty. Not, it's a Saturday morning, so no, no matter all in me. TikTok. This is all you. Trains, Instagram. Fuck! Where was I going with this? Oh, oh! I was gonna say, and you've actually admitted to this: is that the TikTok for you page is scary accurate? Like the things that it will serve to you, because TikTok is a deep abyss of content, but the for you page is incredible at showing you things that you have, even if you spend a millisecond more time watching a certain video than another video, it will learn from that. And so like it shows you, when you start using TikTok, it shows you the generic for you page. And then as soon as you start using TikTok, your for you page is so insanely tailored. So currently I'm on dog TikTok always. So that means like it serves me like hella dog videos. Um, and then I hella also- Hella dog videos? Hella dog videos. Mm. And then I also am on wombat TikTok where mm. it shows me lots of videos of wombats. Um, I'm also not really on dance TikTok. There's a few dancers that I follow that I like know in real life that are really talented, but it doesn't show me too many dance videos. I'm definitely on like DIY and like room decor and like makeover transformation TikTok. What's another one? Anyways, so your For You page really, really tailors itself. Um, and so the game we're about to hop into today is, uh, I can't decide if it's a representation of just like, the overall generation of TikTok users, or if it's like a specific niche of TikTok content. Anyways, I'm gonna quiz Jeremy on some TikTok and Gen Z uh, phrases and words, and uh, we'll we'll see where you land on this. I'm I'm interested because again, things make it over to Instagram, but not always. And I asked on Instagram if there was anything specific you want me to quiz uh, Jeremy on, and I got a few. What? So, this whole thing was about how lesser of a platform Instagram is, and then you went to Instagram to ask. Yeah. Got it. Just Instagram's not a lesser platform. It just serves a different purpose. Uh, well, no, I just, I wanted to make sure I was hearing that correctly. Yeah, this is not apples to apples. No. This is apple to pear. It's actually bite dance to Facebook. Sure, sure, if you wanna get nerdy about it. So anyways, I went to Instagram and asked you what you, uh, what you want me to quiz Jeremy on. And honestly, some of the replies, I was like, oh, I have no idea what the fuck this is. So obviously like they're on a different TikTok than I am. Right, 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 right. Um, but either way. I'm so just, if you were to describe your TikTok in five words or less. Uh-huh. It, my TikTok, like my TikTok for you page? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, dog. Does it have to, the words all have to be connected? Jesus Christ, Jeremy's breaking the set. Whoa, that actually came off. What's going on? Oh my God. Our set is actively falling apart right now. Um, did the words have to be connected or can they be separate? I'm already over the idea. Let's okay, got it, okay. Um, okay, here we go. We're diving right in. This is a little bit of an old one. Um, an oldie, but a goodie? An oldie, but a goodie. It's not super old, but it was like six months ago. Okay. Okay, so what does it mean when someone is a Heather? A Heather? A Heather. And I assume that's different than a Karen. What? I assume that's different than a Karen. It's not a Karen. No, I, I assume it's different than a Karen. Oh yeah, different than a Karen. That's not correct. a Chad. Not a Chad. Okay. A Heather? A Heather. What does it mean to be a Heather? Heather, Heather Gray. Heather, Heather rhymes with feather, <laughs> um, which is close to one of my favorite cheeses, which is cheddar. And you do I love like a, cheddar a sharp on cheddar. My eggs. Um, I think you're getting too far away from. Uh, Lauren's got nice legs. That's true. And I used to get on top of kegs. I don't know. Oh, you got on top of a keg not too long ago. When? I uh, you did a keg stand. Uh... It wasn't in the last 15 months. Was not in the last 15 months, no. The thought of me putting the end oh, uh, God. of a keg oh, into your in mouth. my mouth. Uh. I think back to myself, I'm like, you know why my immune system's so strong? Because it did that for uh, 10 years. There's just so many things that I think about now that are just not okay. Oh, I'll go back to that. I don't know. Oh yeah. There's a few things that I just don't know if I'm gonna go back to. You know, you've just never tasted a beer until you've tasted it upside down. I think I have tasted beer upside down. And it's not any better than what it, it's actually worse. It, it feels You've tasted worse. beer upside down. I haven't seen you drink a beer right side up. Yeah, I don't like beer. It was in college, university. I wanna meet her. Well, yeah, I don't know. She I'm, seems fun. 
I'm not very good. I'm not she very, seems carefree. I don't I don't like beer. I'm actually intolerant to, I forget what the ingredient in you're beer Asian. is. You're Asian. You're intolerant to everything. Milk, <sighs> yeah. Um, beer. Yeah. What else gives you the glow? Oh, nothing gives me the glow. You don't get the glow? No, I luckily, no, you would know if I got the glow. Asian glow is like, uh, like sometimes rashes, big rosy cheeks. It's a- I didn't know about Asian glow until we started dating. Oh, um, I'm trying to think who gets Asian glow in our friend group. Um, yeah, but it's it's very noticeable when someone gets Asian glow. It, yeah. I think it's uncomfortable too. Like I think you get super like warm, like your face feels well, it doesn't hot. Look like oh it's- oh oh, our friend JP gets Asian glow, and it looks very uncomfortable. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Anyway, so I I you know the white side really jumped out for that one. It said we got you. It said we got you, bitch, on those enzymes. Now, if you drink some milk, you fuck. We don't got you. Okay, what's a Heather, babe? I don't know. Um, so Heather is a perfect person. You want to be a Heather. So like if someone was like- I want to be a Heather. You want to be a Heather. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it was inspired by the Conan Gray song um, where they say they wish they were Heather because Heather is the one I think that like- Shout out Eddie and Colette. That gets the uh, that gets the, the girl or the guy and uh, you want to be the Heather. Got it. Yeah. So if I texted Eddie Winnell right now, Conan's manager and said, I'd like to be a Heather. Yeah. He'd know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think so. Text you, Eddie. Conan's, Conan's manager, which for sure, or he's a bad manager and doesn't isn't familiar with the content. I'm gonna text Eddie after this. Yeah, I mean, I think it's his responsibility and his job to know what a Heather out. is. I can't wait. Um, okay, so next up, we've got uh, a pick me girl. A pick me girl? Yeah, a pick me girl. This isn't. This is something that you've encountered. This is something that you, um, you probably know a pick me girl. Uh, okay, a pick me girl. Hmm, let's sound this out like Latin style. Pick <laughs> me, and I, and me is a girl. So I assume it's a female. Uh huh. Does it have to be a female? Um, um, um. In in the context that TikTok uses it in, I would say that it it most majority of the times would be a female. Yes. Mm, not sure I'm buying into this anymore, but I, I assume it's. A, a, a woman who wants to stand out from the crowd when it comes to being selected for potential um, <laughs> relations. Mating. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I, you know what? I, I, I see the logic in that for sure. Like that that does make sense as a guess. I think, I think that's probably the best guess that I would have given as well. Um, right. Not knowing what a pick me girl is. So a pick me girl is a girl who tries to impress the guys. And the pick me girl is, is frequently saying, I'm not like the other girls. Like, oh, oh my so you're god. You're a pick me girl. Um, no, I think a pick me girl would not have that many girlfriends mm. because they think that they are one of the bros. I just happen to get along with guys, but I prefer to you hang out with together? girls. You guys hear that? Okay. <laughs> I'm not Listen, like I'm the not other here, girls. I'm not here to put you in a box or tell you who you are. You're putting me in a box. I would never. I feel I'm confined. Just, I'm just saying. You I would. feel claustrophobic. Hop on out. <laughs> Uh, I just think that you've um, you've elicited pick me girl tendencies, or at least you've bragged about um, what I think the you're saying they're doing. I think you, you've bragged about um, succeeding at, at this. being a pick me girl. Yeah, I I think that um, guy friends and girlfriends serve different purposes mm -hmm. in your life to fulfill different friendship needs. Okay. And there are times when it's fun to hang out with the guys and it's fun. It's sometimes fun to, it's mostly fun. I would like, if I only had one slot in the week for socialization, I would choose my girlfriends every single time. Okay. And I think that would like to, I would like to confirm that as my answer to um, solidify the fact that I am not a pick me girl. Sounds like you're a little defensive on the whole pick me girl. Cause you called me a pick me girl. I just said that you may, you might, I think you shared some characteristics with a pick me girl in the past. Okay, I would not disagree with that. I would not disagree with that. Sounds like we're on the same page. Well, I don't know about that. Um, okay, so this one, this one needs um, a a physical a physical uh, hand motion. So for our audio listeners, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, describe it for you as well. No, 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 no. I'm gonna describe the hand okay. motion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Bella. Huh. Bella, uh, uh, Bella, Bella. Uh, Hadid. No. Oh, 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 oh! I know who you're talking about. Bella. Oh, What's her last name? The the girl who does the Tatted. super face zoomy any thingy Bella Porch 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 Bella Porch. She's doing the Bella Porch. I don't I don't know if this is where that came Field from. Field goal. 
Wait, so describe what you're seeing. So for our audio listeners. So you know when you play the game where you 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 make a paper football? Yeah. And you you flick it and do- You do know what's actually really fucked up about this is that like, there's an app version of this now that I bet the new generations play on an app. But like when you're waiting at the restaurant for your food, the amount of times that we would just crumble up a straw wrapper and play this like physically in a real straw life. straw wrapper? Yeah, that's always how I played. What straws do you have? I mean, when you're waiting at a restaurant for your food, it's the best you got, or I guess a napkin. No, I would have taken, you know, the, the table mats that are paper that you can color oh, you can, on? Yeah, you rip yeah, them Yeah, I would have done yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, but I feel like the younger generations just don't know the the origin of did the- you, Did you want to cap the story off by saying back in my day? Back in my day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I get old. It. I get it, you're almost I'm, 30. I'm an, I'm a fossil at this point. I know. Okay, so describe what's happening though. You're, you're making the tape, the, the paper football touchdown thingy. Okay, so what is this, what is this now? You're, what does this mean now? Oh, and was there a word for it? I mean, there's not like a specific name for it, but what does it, what is like the emotion or like the sentiment that it, it omits. It, it's, I think it's nostalgic of childhood. Okay, no, 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 no. Try and think like a like a no, 17 that, year old. That is what I'm thinking. Okay. I think it is nostalgic to childhood. Okay, so if you if you go back to our episode with the pretty basic guests, uh -huh. Remy does this actually a bunch and it was so funny watching it happen. And I was like, I know Jeremy has no idea what the fuck is going on. I, mean, I see it all the time on the internet. Yeah, so it, it's, you know, the emoji with the big eyes that kind of have like the glisten. It would, it's like the puppy dog eye emoji. Yeah. So basically it's like that in real life. Like people, it's like the shy, like. Right, Yeah. Like you're acting like a little child. Yeah, yeah, it makes, it's a little cringy. I'm, I'm gonna be yeah, honest. it's very cringy. It's very cringy. It's like, like you're so innocent and you didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is very much in line with what I was thinking. Okay, well, minus the uh, the football part of it. Well, right, but like, <laughs> that's how, that's what I'm describing, like what it visually looks like to me. Right, 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 right. Um, okay, that's a, that's a, I would give that a 0.6 of a point. 0.6? Yeah. That's an F. A 60% was an F for you? Yes. I'm sorry, what? Yes. An F? It was an eight point scale. What? So what would a 50% be? An F. I'm sorry, okay, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, so walk me through. I'm so confused right now. So like- it, What's a passing grade? Uh, so I think it was 90 or so 100 to 93 was an A. What? 93, 92, yeah. And so it's every eight points. So then eight points below that. Cause uh, I think B stopped at I think 84, 85. And then, yeah. And then C and then D was starting at, let's see what it would have been. That feels so harsh. It was hard. That's so harsh. I know. And then in college it was 10 points, 10 point scale. So 100, 90, 80, 70, 60. Wow, my God. Yeah, I would say the Canadian one is definitely way closer to a 10 point scale. That feels so harsh because 50% was our passing grade. So if you got like a 55, you're like, oh bitch, I'm in the clear. So anything below 68. Is an F? No, it, yeah, it would've been, yeah, an F, yeah. That is so harsh. Yeah. Sucks. Oh my God. So just below that is a fail? Yeah. Below a 68 is a fail? It might be 66, 65, but yeah, yeah it's fail. Oh my God. I mean, like in business school. That is not enough wiggle room to do, like to flop on a test. Right, like in business school, you couldn't get it. Like, I think you had to have, have above a B average to like actually get a degree. Like you couldn't graduate with like D's or C's. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I barely attended my last year of university and I still graduated with honors. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's tough. Okay. Well, anyways, and obviously that degree has led me to much success. <laughs> And I'd like to point out that I, <laughs> I was well on my way to getting that degree and uh -huh. still couldn't find the, the patience or time to do it and Stay left. Stay in school, kids. And, and like I said, I've been asked once in my professional career, yeah. hey, we're, um, you did graduate from college, right? No, is that a problem? <laughs> Didn't think so. Oh, really, you said no? No, I said no, and I, went even, I, I even went so far to say is, and if that's a prerequisite to get on the team you're hiring for. Right, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. That's like, a, no, 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 of course it's not, it's not. That's we, big dick energy. Yeah, but it's like, oh, I'm sorry. Let's see these little fucking salespeople you got over here that uh -huh. need a degree to do what they do. Uh -huh. Cause I've been doing sales for a long time. You're like sales is in my blood. It's, I've been bullshitting since day one. Love that. Okay, uh, next up we've got the blue cap emoji. So there's no words with this one. It's just like the the hat emoji and just happens to be blue. Oh. Uh, the blue cap emoji reminds me of, I, was, it, was it Ash Ketchum or Brock in Pokemon that had the cap? 
and it was blue. I think Ash is red. I think Ash is red. Yeah, so it must have been somebody else's. Okay, so it's Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna go on and get like on a limb and say it's not that, but that's that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's what your I best think. guess. Yeah, that's your best guess. Okay, so um, do you remember when No Cap was popular? Uh, last week, of course. Yeah, last week. So we've dropped the no. We've dropped mm, the the cap. No Cap, and so Cap it just means uh means a lie. So if someone if you say something and someone drops a cap, you're like you're lying. Oh. Yeah. I should bring that up in conversation this week. Yeah. Someone will say something that's like on the fence, like cap. Okay. No, no, no. You send the blue hat emoji that you don't oh, say just, cap. So you just. You just send the emoji. So someone lies to you via text. Yes. And then you send them a blue baseball cap emoji. Yes. As if to say, I don't exactly buy your story. Yes. Makes total sense. Yes. 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 We, I, it, things are just getting shorter and shorter. No, totally. And more obscure. I'll always remember the, the girlfriend or I don't know if she's a girlfriend or not. The person that I was, no, I think it was a girlfriend that I was talking to the time, at the time emojis came out. Yeah. And she oh, would just no. send me emojis as responses. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck does that mean? She's like, it's a smiley face. I'm excited. Or it's like, I love, or I'm mad. I'm just like, why don't you use your words? Use your, I thought it was That's the tough. dumbest thing in the world. And That's then when tough. it took me, I think because of that, it took me an extra maybe year uh-huh. to get over the hump. Even when I was like, oh fuck, this is a, more efficient way of, of, of communicating, yeah, but I'm right. like, nah, I can't. So she that. she gave you a little like emoji PTSD a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I see. Uh-huh. Emo- uh, um, po- yeah. Post emoji. I tried to come up with an acronym for that. And it just didn't, didn't get there. Yeah. Didn't Post work. emoji stress pest. Post- I was pessimistic. I'll tell you that. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, okay. Next one is easy. You know this one. This is a this is a level one. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's an acronym. Mm. And it is I Y K. If you know you know. If you know, you know, uh, let's go, babe. Yes. We are fossils and you nailed that. You ready? Yeah. CAC. Oh, cost over, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, customer acquisition, acquisition, customer acquisition cost. Yes. It's just CAC. Oh yeah, there's no K on there. Yeah, yeah. EBITDA. I'm kidding, let's move on. EBITDA, I don't know what that one is. You do great, you do great. CAC, wonderful. CAC. Customer acquisition acquisition cost. Can you say acquisition? Yeah, I don't know why the acquisition. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. just making sure that- No, no there was something going on there. Yeah, I don't it know what that is. It was like accusation, customer accusation cost. Yes. Wow, yes. that's a good one. Um, okay, here's another easy one. You know this one. Um, a stan. Oh, well, originating from Eminem, Stan. Love that song. Yeah, which I think people forget sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's the biggest fan in the world. Yeah, so it's uh, also, I'm not sure. I think this is like a, uh, also like a, uh, stalker and fan makes right. Stan. Right. Yeah, but Eminem was way before the times. Right. Or ahead of the times. Right. Eminem was nailing it. Right. Cause that sounds old. It's not, it's not new. Yeah, it's not, not new. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just learned this one and I tweeted about it the other day. Um, you didn't like it, but you, we, we really took a deep dive into what this was. You had a full understanding of it. And we actually, we actually um, found some, some samples as well. Uh, an uwu girl. Oh, I don't like these. It's, <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. What's the, okay, well, give me an explanation of the uwu. It's the voice for me. It's, it's the voice for me. It's the voice for me. <laughs> that part is, is what I can't get over. Okay, well, give me, um, paint me a picture of an uwu girl. Uh, so I guess the hair is like that color. Right, so pink. But it's a wig. Right. It's not real hair. It's not real hair. So is that, but probably better for your hair, like healthy wise. Oh, anyway, for sure. Yeah. Where how Megan plays, keeps her hair so healthy and has pink hair. No idea. Does she wig? No, it's real. Really? It's real. Megan, we want to know the secrets. Anyway, um, uh, uh, it's like a wig uh-huh. and then the headphones yep. with the with the, the cat ears, which yep. is something you would do, which is a little weird. And then the little microphone. And it's like, they're like, they're like, um, um, uh, webcam. Okay, well, it can be webcam. Well, all the ones that I saw were webcam. Okay. Right? No. You saw gamer girls too. Yeah, but they were like about to be on a webcam talking to somebody. Yeah, I feel like we're talking about different webcams. When girls game, they're on a webcam. Yeah, but this, this remember there was like, the, someone was calling her and she yeah. was like, oh my fucking God, I gotta go. I'm I see, I see. Also, <laughs> oh, I hated that. I yeah. hated that. Um, but I mean, the voice went from, oh my God, I gotta go. This is crazy. And then it went to like, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I, I really wanted to give you the stage for that one to see how long you would go and you did not disappoint. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're I, welcome. I, and so that's what I got. Yeah, okay, that, that's pretty good. Um, I wish I had asked you this a couple days ago before we went down this like deep rabbit hole of an uwu girl is. Um, so then you would have missed that a whole impersonation. I, yeah, you're right. You're right. Right. So the uwu is, uh, it started because it's like, it looks kind of like a face. Like when you have like the capital U's and the W is like a little mouth situation. Is that kind of like the original emoji where it looks like? Yeah. 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 Kind of. Wow, I love that. <laughs> it's like kind of, kind of crooked to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of crooked to the side with the arms out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it brings the emoticon to life through their aesthetic and demeanor, which is sweetly childlike, but also suggestive and also like kind of originating with anime girls. I don't- Everyone's got their thing. No, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. Everyone's I got guess their thing. The thing that, the, the only, you know, I'm, I'm all for whatever you're into. Right, we're not king shaming. No. The, I just, when every time it goes back to child. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's a weird, there's a weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me uncomfortable to think it, about. And you know what it is? It makes me uncomfortable because I don't understand it. I don't get it. I'm sure there's a healthy way to do it. It's just yeah. like, the, I don't I don't understand the, the healthy way of, of tying um, s suggestive anything towards- The uh, childlike. The childlike thing. Yeah. Without it just being a big old red flag for yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, and maybe that's, a, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what, what the reflection is on that, but that's just not something that I understand. Right. I mean, it's it's just the childlike portion because the rest of it is like, oh, you've got pink hair and like you do your eye makeup right. in a specific way. It's like, that's that's whatever. Like, Lauren do says you. That that's Lauren 2017. Yeah, literally that is that is me 27. Well, pink hair was me 2017. Oh, well, maybe even early 2016 probably. But like- Were you an uwu girl? No, I was not an uwu girl. I was- um, Really? I was, because I can find- I was a visco girl ahead of the times. Okay. Yeah. I was a visco girl living in a 2015 lifestyle YouTuber world. Okay. May that rest in peace. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, this is the one that I didn't know. Um, Hit me. The house down. The house down boots. House down boots? The house down boots. Just, uh, can I call Todrick Hall? He seems like someone who would know the, to the house down boots. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. So getting closer, getting closer. I would assume- You're warm, you're warm. Why, is it part of dancing? No. Okay, is it um, a, a, a nice, anything nice down to the, like- Yeah. <laughs> warmer, warmer. Um, I, to me, uh, I don't know. Okay, so it's it's uh, originates in drag. And I, I was gonna say, is this a RuPaul thing? E, I think so. I'm I mean, not, the boots the boots part is what gets boots, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not entirely sure because I I uh, asked a friend who's really into drag race and they they explained it to me, but I feel like I didn't I didn't fully grasp where it started from. So if anyone knows, so where, if I texted Hot Todrick right now and said, "Can you explain to me house down boots?" Yeah, do you think he would know? Yes, for sure. Okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, so it's used as an exclamation point. Basically, so you and so, so it's I, grammar. It's grammar. Okay, but just in the form of a lot of words. Okay, right. And and I so thought, you know when I heard cap had such a large meaning to it, I thought we were we're slimming down the words we're using. This one we are going the opposite direction. Okay, yeah, opposite. Well, everything's direction. Everything's cyclical. Yeah. So anyway, if if someone um, understands the house down boots and wants to give us fossils um, a little a little uh, pop culture lesson, please do because. I don't fully understand. And I, I literally hate that I feel too old to like know. You know what, this isn't an age thing though. This is just like a different a different industry thing. It's a thing. different TikTok thing, babe. I don't think this is actually on TikTok. I think this is just like a, a pop culture thing that I'm, okay. I'm not well, We don't watch on. RuPaul. We don't watch RuPaul. And it's not that I'm not, I don't think I would enjoy RuPaul. It's just like, I've never gotten into it. Yeah, we should get into it though. You know what it is though? You know when there's a show that has such a, such a, a strong following that anytime Someone asks if you watch it and you say no, they go, oh, yeah. are you like it's as if I told them that their mother has bad BO. Right. And I mean, I feel like you did that with Game of Thrones for a lot of people though. You did that to me. No, no, no. So I am an active hypocrite. Oh, okay. I see. I, I see. I see. Was a that self aware hypocrite. You know, I'm a self aware yeah, hypocrite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And and you could bet your ass the moment that I go to the other side. Have you seen Game of Thrones? No. Are you kidding? You would love it. It's Arya just swinging and it like, yeah, no, I'm got I'm, it. I am. The hypocrite. I'm yeah, it's it's completely hypocritical. But I think it's because like there's just so much history there that I'm like, well, I'm too I'm too deep. It's I like think, lost. I can't get into that now. Oh, you didn't watch Lost. See. There it is. There it is. There it is. In the wild. Um, okay. 
Uh, well, well, we will we will do our part in education on the house down boots and- No, no, no. You're gonna do yeah, the education. Yeah, you're gonna do the education and let us know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, awa, awa. Awa, awa? Awa, awa. Could you do the sentence real quick? Um, How you doing today? Awa, awa. Country of origin? TikTok. Okay. <laughs> Mainland China? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna play you some Awa Awa so you can get an idea. Hang on, this is Charlie Poof, hang on. Are you ready for some Awa Awa? Hard to say. I think you actually might know some Awa Awa as soon as you hear it. God. What's the word, Jake? Yo, Puzz. I got you. Talk. Chihuahua. It's behind my back. Ready? I'm gonna show you on the count of three. One, two, three. I, that's a Chihuahua. It's a hundred percent a Chihuahua. Hundred percent. It's a hundred percent Chihuahua. So, uh, Awa Awa originates uh -huh. um in this Chihuahua named Pudgy. Okay. And he is TikTok famous. Uh -huh. And um, I guess he he was he got uh, he got out of the house and was like right. lost for a few weeks. Okay. Got hit by a car. Oh. Found his way home. This Chihuahua. This Chihuahua. Yeah. Who's lighter than that glass of water? Yes. Got hit by a car and apparently like when he came home after like the incident he just started being an awa awa like he just started doing awa awa and he didn't do that awa, before. Awa awa. awa. Moose kind of does that sometimes. He kind of goes like ow ow. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. And this the, dog has gotten so the, famous. The vocal of the awa, flexibility awa. that I'm I'm exhibiting in this podcast is yeah. You got a lot of, yeah. lot of got, a, got a lot going on. If I on. had a voiceover agent, I'd I'd call you up. Do uh, I just send this tape to CAA and see how it goes? I I think that that's absolutely the move. Corey absolutely Wexler, the move. coming to you. Um, okay, next up we've got uh, the use of bestie. What do you want to know? Tell me everything. What do you know? Well, first off, I'm thinking to my my uh, what was it? Bad Baby le released a song. Bestie, a few. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. That's my One. best friend. Do, 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 do. Oh, careful. We're gonna get copyright. Oh, yeah, seriously. Um, well that. Okay. Uh, but bestie, best friend. Yeah, but like, how is it used now? I think I want to phone a friend named Remy for this. Yeah. One, because she's my bestie. Right. And two, because I feel like she would know exactly yes. how to answer this question. Confirming that, yes. Yeah, so I, I don't, I'm just gonna put it out that I, the whatever bestie is, yeah. is the way that Remy would describe it. I feel like that's kind of a workaround. It's kind of a cheating answer. And it's kind of working. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I wouldn't give you a full point for it. I'm sorry. Did we just put down my bestie status with Remy? No, we just put down the fact that you are avoiding answering the actual question. I'm not avoiding the answer. I'm, I'm just saying, I think that that would be my best depiction of what bestie is. Anyways, I'm gonna give it to you. So Bestie, has, so for some reason, has like come back and- I didn't is, know it went away. Well, it just came back stronger than it's ever been back, been, well, been here. Anti-rest in peace, Bestie. Yeah, anti-rest in peace. Uh, so people are using Bestie, like you can say like, hey, Bestie, like what's up, Bestie? Like, um, how you doing, Bestie? Like you can say it like that, but you can also use it to uh, like, ironically call someone that you hate bestie. Oh. And that's new. A little satire. A little satire, yeah, th that's new. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's- yeah. Uh, So one can be hyperbolic. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Like, oh, me and my bestie there. Yeah, mm. like, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Is that good? <laughs> mm. Well, yeah, we'll work on that. We will work on that. Um. Okay. I had no idea TikTok had such hyperbole. Yeah, I mean, you know, these Gen Zers, they are, they are witty. And I am scared of well, you know, these kids these days. These kids these days. What's the next generation called? The iPad babies. What? So I I saw this fucking hilarious TikTok of uh this battle between Gen Zers and Millennials because like there's this whole thing going on saying that like Gen Zs are making fun of Millennials because they still have side parts and wear skinny jeans because those apparently are not popular anymore. Do I have a side part and, and do I wear skinny jeans? You wear skinny jeans. Well, I think it's different for guys though, but like you're fine. Don't change anything. You're you're fine. There's nothing worse than just a straight leg, like on me. Yeah, that's I'm no so one tall. needs to see that. I just look like a. a you look a, like a dad. Well, I look like someone put a a a weather covering on an electric pole. <laughs> they just said, oh, <gasps> right, right, right. We got to wrap this thing up because it's old uh -huh. and it'll start to decay if we don't put this nice burlap sack on it. And then we'll stick two of them together, and then we'll put a mop on the top. 
Perfect. That would be me. That is, yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna stick to skinny jeans for you. I think is the move. So the Gen Zers make fun of the millennials for the side part for the skinny jeans. So it's more of a, a woman thing. Definitely, definitely. It, it's girls picking on girls. Girls this is not, not supporting some girls. girls. Not supporting girls. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, girls are mean. Girls, girls are fucking mean. Girls are fucking mean. God, I think guys are meaner uh, in childhood. Yeah. And then at like eighteen, guys are all just, just like assuming you're not actively trying to have sex with somebody else's girlfriend. Right. They're like. Yeah, I get it. Whatever. Even yeah, then they're like, girls, I get it. Girls are mean, girls are mean, mean. Yeah, and, stop um, doing that. If so, you're being mean to your friends, stop. But like, it's it's weird because they like do it sly. Like, Lauren, grab some glass and tell them to stop. Gra grab some glass, tell yeah. them to stop, knock it off. Stop being mean. Girls Who? supporting girls. Who? Who what? Who's, who's gonna stop being mean? Girls stop being mean. To who? Other girls. That's right. Girls supporting girls. Go find a guy to be mean to. Go find a guy to be mean to. Yeah, go find a fuck boy to be mean to. Anyways. Um, no, go find a fuck boy to ignore. Sure, okay. But you're not ignoring them if you're going out to find them. Nah, so go, go out to find them and say, I'm just not interested in this anymore. There is truly nothing better than the feeling of your teeth after using one of our favorite sponsors, Bruch. Once I switched from my manual toothbrush over to Bruch, I noticed a difference in how clean my teeth looked and felt. It's like washing dishes by hand rather than using the dishwasher. You know which one works better. Bruch has six unique modes so you can customize your brushing experience to fit your needs. It also has a sleek design and comes in different colors, which makes your bathroom counter look a little more aesthetically pleasing. Lauren, I know you love that. Damn straight, I do. Brush also has a subscription program where they will ship you a new brush head every six months so you aren't stuck with a worn down, dirty brush. I know I'm getting the best clean with my brush and because of that, I'm becoming less afraid to show my face and my teeth at the dentist's office. Get 15% off your brush toothbrush kit and refill plan when you use our promo code WILD at brush.com. That's 15% off using code WILD at B-R-U. U-S-H dot com. You're my best friend. You see, she's, uh, let's try that again in English. Did you see that she just made like a million in a day on OnlyFans? Yeah, on OnlyFans. Oh my God, I did see that. Yeah. She, you know what's so crazy is that she is the same age as Jojo Siwa. They should collab. They... Think about, think about how much that would pop. A JoJo Siwa and Bad, Bad Baby. Baby collab? Are you kidding? That, that could go off. That could go off. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Can you imagine right. Bad Baby in like a couple of like hair ties and in and JoJo Siwa just one rap verse one? What? Or, <laughs> that could be really or good. Or just something ironic during a chorus. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. middle in in any one of JoJo Siwa's million dollar cars. Or if it was or if it was uh, how about girls supporting girls? That's that. that's some girl supporting girl shit. Or if they just did a music video and it went back and forth, like the juxtaposition between like the Jojo Siwa world and the bad baby world. And then they came together and it was like a combination of the two. That would be fun. I would stream that. So a few other of these phrases and words uh, were, were so interesting. So I learned something in this process. And so I wanna, I wanna like talk about this, but I also want to make it very clear that I'm in the learning process of this and I would love more information from our viewers who have a better understanding because I'm in the learning process and uh, I, I had no idea, I had no idea. So essentially like a lot of these words on TikTok and phrases that have become popular. Um, so for example, one of mine on my list that I, when I asked on Instagram, everyone wanted to know if you would understand uh, what bussin means. Bussin, as in the music video. Bussin, oh yeah, there is a music video, you have a song named bussin. bussin. So, wait, so on TikTok, is it wait, bussin? What, what song is that though? Um, uh, I don't know. So anyways, on TikTok, is it, there was someone who said, is it bussin Janelle? And that's like the, that audio that audio got super popular where it's Janelle at the end. And so Janelle, Janelle is- Janelle Monet? No, 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 no. Janelle is a very, very white uh, food TikToker and she makes all these like keto meals. Not Janelle Monet. Not Janelle Monet. Who's very you know. talented. Who's very talented. But so in this process, I learned that there are, let me go, let me find the definition. So a lot of, these phrases that have become popular on TikTok and like other these like you know what it's like it's very like Gen Z based um, are A A V E which stands for African American Vernacular English. Oh, what's new? I know, but like so I didn't I didn't realize how how much that vocabulary expands into words that are just like in our everyday. Uh, yeah, but th th that whole 
I mean, that's a new acronym for me. Okay. But that started with soul music. Yeah. That I mean, what what came before? What what made rock soul? Everything was jazz, and then soul came in, and people, oh, I like that. Let me let me go try and make it my own kind of thing. Like we we've been stealing uh, AAVI. We've been doing that v -E, since the, v -E. the v -A -A -V -E. e. We have been stealing everything from other cultures for centuries and making it our own and, and, and monetizing it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, this is this is like my first like deep dive into the into it, and um, I just had I had no idea. And well, look at dance. Yeah. Look at music. Yeah. No. Look for at sure. Athletes. For sure. For sure. Um. No. It all makes sense now. So let me. Um. Okay. So. What are some examples of AAVE? And so turn, it's turn on the television. Words such as lit, mm. woke, mm. bay, ratchet, which, and so ratchet's one of the ones that I learned um, a while ago. And I was like, oh, this is not appropriate. And this is not something that I will be continuing in my vocabulary. And so like, that was a learning moment for me a couple of years, or no, maybe like last year um, that I didn't fully understand until like fans enlightened me as to like what that could actually mean. Um, Sis, slay, hella, and fuck, I already used hella today in the podcast. Like in, I just, you know, it's it's just now I'm aware of it. Basic, uh, straight up on fleek, I feel you, turn up, um, have become common sayings that are All often- All right, now turn up. Now I'm gonna have to put up uh, hard, hard. <laughs> I, listen now, maybe, maybe, I just think that I'd like to, can I request a loan out on that word? Maybe. Or phrase? Maybe. Can I borrow that? Maybe. Oh, okay. Here, here's a pretty good definition. Okay. So within any culture, language is the basis for communicating ideas and plays a role in shaping people's sense of community. Yet in North American pop culture, black vernacular English BVE is often used by non-black people for social capital. BVE is often misused out of context in an attempt to be relevant, relatable, or for credibility is rooted in both African dialects and or Caribbean Creole English. Um, so anyways, I got a lot of learning to do here, um, but I I feel like I'm at the tip of the iceberg and um, let's see, oh, BVE is used by companies on social media and in advertising and marketing as an attempt to appeal to the younger audience. If many of these words or phrases simply sound like internet and social media lingo, it demonstrates the extent to which the appropriation of BVE by non-black by non -black communities has accelerated exponentially in the age of the internet. Mm. Yeah, so fuck, I had no idea. And so this is like, I'm at the tip of the iceberg, I feel like for learning about this, but I I had no idea. I, I mean, I think it's the ultimate, like uh, uh, show your work. Yeah. <laughs> and the internet is making you show your work and your yeah. sources. Yeah. Whereas like before, the, the person that came up with an idea is the person that just like said it first in their friend group. Right. And, and then it, it just, we all go, oh, I can't believe we all said the same things. And it's like, right, no, like yeah. someone somewhere heard something funny and then just reused it and said it was their own. But right. it's just like, I'm not kidding. Turn on the television and anything entertaining. It's not like we like we didn't come up with some ideas, but a lot of right. it is just like, oh, this group that doesn't have the money to make this picture or this film or this project come to life has a funny idea. I'm going to take that idea. And then I'm going to be the one to one take credit for it and also make all the money from it. Right. Like, that is entertainment and media to a T. Yeah. I think that the world is is at the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg of of saying, oh, we have just been stealing that from other cultures for forever. Right. And I honestly don't know if it's, I think it's going to be another 20, 30, 40, 50 years, Hope, hopefully faster, but like it tails all the time. Right. But it's and great so for the like the kids to point it out. Right, and and so like, that's what I mean. Like, I, I think I need to understand more the difference, or not the difference, but like the understanding behind um, like giving proper credit or where things are offensive. And like, if it's something that you just need to omit from your vocabulary altogether. Like, I feel like that's the part that I don't fully understand yet. And that I need to like, I, I need to learn either from um, our audience, hopefully, or also just like on the internet. So that's on me to do my research. Well, it's just like one of the things we're just being aware of. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's, I feel like the first, like I just checked the first box of now being aware of it. But also like imitation is, is you know, a big old form of flattery. 
Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think I just need to make sure like I'm not disrespecting any community, um, especially unintentionally, because that is like the last thing that, I, and it's so crazy. Like, had we not done this podcast and I did more research into certain words because like for bussin, I was like, oh fuck, this is not in my vocabulary. Like, and I don't fully know. You don't use bussin often? Don't, don't use bussin. I can't remember the don't last use day bussin. I, that went by that I didn't use bussin. Yeah, right. So I don't use bussin. So like when I went to go Google the official definition on Urban Dictionary of okay. bussin. I like that Merriam Webster has like, uh, like got everything on like the 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 cut and dry, just like yep. old fashioned. Yep. And also it's a benchmark of like when bus and makes it over to Miriam. Right. When she picks it up. Right. When everything starts in Urban Dictionary. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So anyways, like in my research to define bus in, mm -hmm. that's where I started like learning about this. And I was like, oh shit. And then I like went deeper and deeper and deeper. And I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And so it was, um, you know, at the hand of this podcast that I uh, now have a better under understanding. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And so, are we going to uh, watch this clip back in, in six months or six years when it's on the front page of TMZ and be canceled? Is is that the level that we're working with here? Well, I, and that's that's what I need to understand more is that like, I don't want to be offensive to any community and I want to be fully respectful. So that's like where I'm looking to our audience to like understand uh, how- Oh, so to cancel us now so that we know or-, or Well, to tell I mean, I think we're addressing, I think we're addressing like our, our lack of understanding and education for it right now. So I feel like this is not a cancelable offense. No, I, I, I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay, but then good. again, you could be canceled for anything. I know, fuck it makes me so nervous. I'm like, is today the day I get canceled? Could be. Could be could any be. day, could be any day. You never know. I mean, I, I just feel as if I'm, I don't have much content out there that's very cancelable, but- like, Say that now. Yeah, fuck, you never know. Um, okay, and and the last one on here is, uh, but you already said it. You're like, it's the blank for me. Oh, it's the anything for me? It's the anything for me. Oh, right. Well, as a, as a, uh, an honorary Gen Zer, I am um, exhibiting just the, that is the issue for me. Right, and so it's used like sarcastically. Right. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, if I have, um, if I've got ugly shoes on, you'd be like, it's the Air Force Ones for me. Right, but I would and never I do that I don't want to offend, I don't offend anyone. Ones. Well, I'm not really an Air Force One kind of bitch anymore. Oh, you've moved on from those? I, uh, that's not true. I My Air Force One high tops, I'm a big fan of. They're like the daily shoe that I would wear on a typical basis if I don't care like what happens to them. But I'm kind of a Jordan one bitch now, I gotta be honest. Okay, got it. Gotta be honest. That's great. No, I'm, I'm glad you've moved on. You've grown. And you know what? I, 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 wanted, I chose Air Force One because I am someone who's worn a ton of Air Force Ones and still wear them, the high top version. Um, I wore Air Force Ones for years, 20 I, years ago. I just didn't want to come for like, the community that love Crocs because the and Croc community has really popped off lately and it's just not something that I personally can get on board with. And speaking of culture, where do you think Air Force Ones came from? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I know, totally. Um, the Croc culture, on the other hand- That came from a marketing budget. That, that I feel like, that is that a white person thing? It's gotta be a white person Crocs? thing. Crocs? Yeah. I'm not claiming that. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, babe? I, I think I think. Uh, listen, I, did I put vanilla tinted moisturizer on today? Yeah. Yes. Am I claiming Crocs? No. That's translucent. Well. Well. No. Well. Mm -mm. People are people are. Is it Post Malone that just did a uh, yeah? A but collab? Post Malone can do that. Like he's yeah. that fucking cool. Like Bieber can do that. Like I can't do that. I don't know if Bieber could do the Crocs thing. Bieber could definitely do it. Post Malone could do the Crocs thing. There's something about that that feels right. Post Malone could. At the same time, Post Malone could probably talk Bud Light into paying him at the same time that Crocs can pay him to do a joint commercial. Yes. About drinking Bud Light. In your Crocs. In Crocs. Yeah. On a couch. I just I just don't think that Crocs are that comfortable. There was at one point when they first started uh, becoming popular and I was like, oh, it's like people love these. I was like, what's the hype? Put them on. I was like, these aren't even that comfortable. If I was going to Birkenstock or Croc, I'd, I'd Birkenstock. Or like. If I was gonna ug or croc, ug every single time. You're walking on a pillow. Where croc is like you're walking on yeah. some cheap foam. If I didn't foam. wanna ever have to buy a drink in West Hollywood again, I would ug. Yeah, you would ug. But you just there's there's just so many more options that are more comfortable. I do think it's funny though, when people say they're putting their crocs in sport mode and they'll put the little strap behind their heel. Mm. I do think that that's pretty funny. Yeah. That's a, that's I can see you getting a kick out of that. Yeah, I get a kick out of that. Yeah. I, I really do. I get a good yeah. chuckle. Do you think at some point in time, someone uh, had this conversation of, what do you mean get a kick out of? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, yeah. Cause like, anyway, anyway, I do get a good chuckle out of the Crocs sport Do mode. you? I do get a good chuckle. I feel like this episode has made me feel more fossily than I ever have in my entire I life. I feel younger. Yeah? I feel like I'm in touch with the kids. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay. But not in this way. All right, Heather. It's just, just one finger. Not this? No, I don't know what that is. This is, this is the football one. 
There's actually another TikTok trend that's got the, the two finger guns. And okay, well, I don't know what the fuck that is. Jeremy's just flashing. Okay, well, that that looks like scissoring. I don't know what's going on there. Ma'am. Ma'am. We're trying to be monetized. Sir, sir. There's, a, there's another TikTok trend where, it, and it goes with the audio. So pew, pew, pew. Well, no, not quite. There's no pew pewing in this one, but you would, it, it's, uh, the overarching theme is that it's a friendship or relationship where you're polar opposites. So the one that I saw yesterday was like the girlfriend puts up her gun and now what is it? Is it gun? Put up the gun? Fuck, I'm gonna fuck this up. But I would be like, uh, only can function on making plans. Like I can only be social if I make the plans. And then the boyfriend would hold up their gun and uh, set, like the text over their face would just be like, only likes to go with the flow. And you so us. Uh, you don't mind a plan. I like a, uh, a light theme. Yeah, you have a light theme. I like I like starting point. You like a starting point. And I definitely like people to be on time to that starting point. Right, 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 right. So you wow. like a little you like a little structure. Yeah. You like a little structure. Well, I like I like to know where I like to know where we're starting. Right, which is fair. Yeah. I think that that's but like once we get there, it sucks. Let's move on. Yeah. Remember when we used to be go with the flow and go out and whatever. Oh uh, God. Soon. Yeah, like the days of like bar hopping. <gasps> Yeah. Lauren. Jeremy. I might be so bold as to say. Yeah. Um, next week. Yeah. I might be able to announce my big news. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you might be able- Or or we might just have another another round of influencer hype up. That was the point. Oh. Yeah. Like, I really wish that I could announce my- <laughs> uh, But other than that, I just- um. I want to see more comments from our new uh, hot territories. Yeah. Including Canada. Hi, Canada, Canada, this is your week. Uh, yeah, it's your yeah, time yeah. to shine, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ahead of some some big, unprecedented, never before seen guests on podcasts, except for maybe a few times or maybe their own podcasts as well. Right, right. In the near future. Right, 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 right. This has been. I listen to the same four podcasts every week, so I got nothing for you. This has been Hey Babe. This has been Hey Babe. I'm Chrissy I'm, D. I'm Sal. You're Sal. You're so Sal. I'm Sal. You're Sal. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Good night, love you. Bye.